thanks for joining us on our laser series. This is part one where we're going to cover laser hair removal. Um, I'm just here to answer all of our most commonly asked questions um, about all things hair. So first and foremost, most people want to know how does it actually work. So what the laser does is it targets melanin. Uh, melanin is what gives your skin and your hair colour. So if you have a tan, you have an overproduction of melanin in your skin um, and that's why you go darker. So what that means is the darker the hair, the more effective the laser is. So if you've got blonde hair, white hair, grey hair or even light brown sometimes, unfortunately you won't be a good candidate for laser. So the darker the hair, the better the result. What the laser does is it targets the melanin, heats it up so that it then travels down the hair shaft and it kills the follicle. Once that follicle is destroyed, it will not grow hair from it ever again, so that side of it is permanent. Another question that I'm very often asked is how many sessions would I need? So it will vary from person to person and it depends on uh, different factors such as uh, how much hair is there, uh, how dark the hair is, and where the hair is. So what we say to people for uh, an approximation for the face is eight to 12 sessions, and those are spaced every four to six weeks. And then for the body, it's six to nine sessions, and they're spaced every six to eight weeks. So that's a guideline for you. Some people want to know how long the treatment takes, and that is entirely dependent on the size of the area we're treating. So if, for example, we're treating an upper lip, it could be as quick as five minutes, and then uh, a bikini line may take sort of between 25 and 30 minutes. Also, everybody always asks, does it hurt? And again, it depends on your pain threshold, but generally it's really quite, it's, it's bearable. It's not completely pain free, but mm, I've never had anyone that couldn't tolerate it to date. And lastly, in case you're wondering who is uh, suitable for treatment, really pretty much anyone that has body hair or facial hair that's unwanted. So we have male and female clients alike. Um, lots of ladies struggle with facial hair in excess. It's a bit of a taboo still, but it's very common. So anybody with hair that they don't want it, quite honestly. Thanks for watching, hope that's helped and we'll see you next time for the second part of our laser series on pigmentation.